Hello, I'm Carolyn and in this video I'm going to show how you can use Knot in the Path Effect Editor to help create designs for your cutter. Now in the video I'm just going to show this simple design at the top here and this series of boxes. Just look closer at this one here. You can see you can create very complicated designs. I won't be showing this in the video because it did take a long time to draw all these lines up. All of the designs use the same principle. So once you learn the basic steps, you'll be able to create your own intricate designs like this one. So I'm going to start with this design and then I'm going to turn it into a stencil to be cut out on the front of a card. You don't have to use it as a stencil. That's just my personal preference. I'm too lazy to actually pick up all these individual pieces and reassemble them on my project. Now to draw my design, I'm just going to select the Bezier tool and just draw a series of lines. Now this video was originally supposed to be published at Christmas time, but I got a few friends to check it out and I'd made a few errors. Unfortunately, it's taken me this long to get back to it, so I'm a little bit late for Christmas. So I've drawn the basic design. Now these lines are too thin to cut. This will virtually just cut straight out of the cardstock. So I'm going to make it thicker by opening the fill and stroke. And as this is a stroke line, I'm going to come to stroke style. And for width, I'm just going to increase the number. And that's just over one and a half millimeters. I know that will cut out just fine. I don't like the look of this, so I can just change it around a little bit more. If I look closely, I can see these are very pointy at the ends. Now the join at the moment is on miter. I might just change it to round and give it a softer look. And this is square. I might change the cap to round it as well. Of course, you don't have to do that. It's totally personal preference. The next part now is to open the Path Effect Editor. So you've got Path. Path Effect Editor. And apply new effect. At the moment it's on bend, but I want not. So I'll select not and then click on add. You can see here that it's actually given me the not effect. The width at the moment is set on 3 by default. If you want to increase or decrease this gap, just change this width. Of course, if you decide you don't like this rounded look or whatever look you've chosen, you can just open Fill and Stroke and change the cap. Actually, now I look at it, I think I prefer the square look. So I'll leave it at that. Now, when you're using Knot, you'll see this circle here with a little node in the middle. Now, if you click on that node, you see how it switches the orientation of the gap? So if you're creating design and you don't like where the gaps are, you can change them. Now at the moment it's on this gap. I can just grab that node with the mouse and move it to the next one and then change it. Bring it up to the next one. So you can further change your design. Simple design like this, it doesn't matter too much, but if you're doing really intricate knots, you might want a bit more control. Now at the moment, if I try to cut this file out, it will actually just cut out the individual lines. I'll just show you an outline mode. You can see we've still got a single line and that will be how it will cut out. And like other path effects, must go path, object to path. Now because it's a stroke, which you can see down here on the lower left, I'll go path stroke to path. You can see here that it's changed from stroke to fill. Now if I look at outline mode, it's actually going to cut both sides of those black lines. So that's the design created. You can cut it out now and then put all those little pieces back on your project or you can draw your card then bring your design over. At the moment it's at the bottom. I'm just going to raise it to the top 
And of course, if I was actually cutting this out, I would make this card a proper size. All I have to do now is select the card and the design and go path difference. Now it looks like it didn't work, but I can see down here I've got fill and stroke turned on. Now to fix that, I'll just open fill and stroke, come to stroke paint and click on the X. I've got no paint. There's my design, which I can now cut out. For this project, I use the Bezier tool. You aren't just restricted to using the Bezier tool or the pencil, you can also use shapes. I'll just run through that very quickly. It works the same whether you're using a square, circle, a star. The shape doesn't matter. I'll just draw a series of rectangles, just overlapping each other. Now I'm going to select these three, open fill and stroke, turn the stroke on to flat colour, click on the fill tab and turn the fill off. Once again, these lines are too thin, so I'll go to Stroke Style and just thicken them up. Now I can't apply the effect on these three separate objects, so to make them one, I'm going to go Path, Combine. Now it's important you go Combine and not Union. So go always go Path, Combine. Now you can open the Path Effect Editor, so go Path, Path Effect Editor. I can see it's already on Knot and that's because I was just working with the Knot Effect. So I'll just click on Add and I can see the gaps are here once again. Same as before, I can change the width either to make it larger or smaller. And if I double click on the Knot Design, once again I get this node here with this circle and the arrow around it and I can click on it and change the direction and move it around so things can be changed just like when I use the Bezier tool. Once the design's finalised I go Path, Object Path and as it's a stroke I go Path, Stroke to Path. Now once again I can use this as it is and patiently put all the pieces on my project or I can design a card, let's just change the colour send it to the back, select both parts, go path, difference. Once again I can see here I've got stroke turned on which is why I can't see the gaps so I'll open fill and stroke, click on stroke paint, click on the X and turn it off. Let's just make it darker. And there we go, there's another stencil design. I will be doing a second video showing how you can create your basic knot design, add a few more steps and have a design like this one here. Thank you for your time. Bye.